दिस इज जल्लूपुर खेड़ा द विलेज ऑफ अमृतपाल सिंह अबाउट फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम अमृतसर एंड वी आर एट द गुरुद्वारा ऑफ जल्लूपुर खेड़ा अब शॉर्ट डिस्टेंस ऑफ मेयर इज द हाउस ऑफ मिस्टर अमृतपाल सिंह होड्स ऑफ पीपल कम हेयर टू सी अमृतपाल सिंह डेली एंड अमृतपाल सिंह होल्ड्स अ काइंड ऑफ अ सर्मन एवरी डे हेयर एट दिस गुरुद्वारा वेर ही स्पीक्स टू पीपल अबाउट रिलीजियस स्क्रिप्चर्स अबाउट हाउ द सिख रिलीजन शुड बी एंड दिस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पोस्टर एक्चुअली कॉट आर आई यू सी दिस पोस्टर दिस मिस्टर भिंडरवाला ऑन दिस पोस्टर दिस मिस्टर दीप सिद्धू हु स्टार्टेड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वारिस पंजाब डे एंड देर इज मिस्टर अमृतपाल सिंह हेयर ऑन दिस पोस्टर एज वेल अमृतपाल सिंह बींग कॉल्ड बाई मेनी एज भिंडरवाला टू पॉइंट ओ इन पंजाब हु इज स्पाउसिंग द कॉज ऑफ खालिस्तान स्पाउसिंग द कॉज दैट सिख आइडेंटिटी शुड बी पैरामाउंट इज मिस्टर अमृतपाल सिंह हैविंग दैट काइंड ऑफ फॉलोइंग इन पंजाब इज द वाइडर सेंटिमेंट इन पंजाब अबाउट खालिस्तान मेनी पीपल आर नॉट श्योर बट श्योरली मिस्टर अमृतपाल सिंह हैज जनरेटेड एन इंटरेस्ट हेयर विद हिज विद हिज द काइंड ऑफ वे ही इज स्पीकिंग द काइंड ऑफ वे ही इज मीटिंग पीपल there is also a keen eye of people of law and order mechanism the law and order machinery on mr amritpal singh you can see his supporters along with him his private gunman as is as many can see with arms with which the uh, punjab police had said it is cancelling these arms licenses but you can still see many people along with amritpal singh carrying arms so in a way this sight is this the way the future of punjab is going is this the way punjab sees going ahead is khalistan a cause which is just limited to a few people or is it a wider phenomenon in punjab let us see and speak to people and see what they have to say a visit to amritpal singh's village jalpur kheda near amritsar is a revelation in itself you arrive at this village and you arrive in the by lanes of this village to the house of amritpal singh which is covered by cctvs the entire lane is covered by cctvs the entire house is covered by cctvs and an armed person allows entry into the house only after a proper check inside when you step in there are people waiting to meet amritpal singh people who have come from far from other villages just to have a glimpse of him take a photograph with him and there are people with armed rifles at least four to five armed people always around amritpal singh guarding him and in fact they don't even allow many people to take videos of amritpal singh if a video is taken sometimes they delete it from your phone in a way a kind of enigma that amritpal singh has built around himself in a very very short time just 6 months after he came back from dubai and took over the organization varis punjab day last month he shot into limelight and rather notoriously when he armed with hundreds of its supporters he stormed the police station in ajnala about 30 kilometers away from amritsar for the release of one of his aides who had been booked by the police in fact when he came here earlier amritpal singh supporters had promised a peaceful protest but they stormed the police station carrying the guru granth sahib in a palki obviously in punjab guru granth sahib is the revered book of the sea community and police exercised restraint in not attacking mr amritpal singh or countering him with any kind of violence no I, it's not about to, uh, nothing to be feared about but uh, on what charges they going to arrest me that's the question congress uh, in their term period the mod bomb the maka was there bomb blast Seven children got killed. They stopped the investigation. The sit sit investigation. Congress intentionally stopped it. So the person who actually you know helped those terrorists to get free or to walk free uh, are talking about my arrest. And I think this this is stupidity. And uh, being opposition, it's there. Uh, you know they want to create a disturbance in the state. So the current party will not remain in the power. But I think it, uh, the current party will think maturely what they will do. But I'm not uh, afraid of being arrested or being killed. That that's uh, it's their common practice for uh, their own failures. They'll claim something, uh, you know, blame something on somebody. They know that they don't have to further explain it. For example, when you say it's a involvement, uh, involvement of Pakistan, there is a history to it. So they'll uh, just say this term and uh, they'll just you know say it's not our fault. We can't do anything about it. But I think. Uh, the drug crisis in punjab the migration crisis uh, the water rights of punjab is not you know because of pakistan it's all in the hand of indian state the central government and punjab government 
if they are not solving those issues and claiming that something happening in Punjab is because of Pakistan, it's very uh, unfortunate and they are just still being ignorant. And when you are ignorant to something, the problem become, becomes larger. It never like, you no, know, you can't suppress things by violence or you can't suppress things by force. They will emerge until unless you listen to them, you talk to them and you solve their issues. I think uh, when there is a genocide, uh, nobody moves ahead of the genocide. So it's similar to saying that, uh, you know, uh, Israel was uh, old thing and they waited for, I think, 2000 years to get it into the reality. So n when you talk about sovereignty, there is nothing called moving ahead of it. Uh, Punjab is still suffering. Punjabi people are still talking about it. You can see like, you know, uh, in Punjab, youth, uh, you know, elder people, children, they all talk about Khalistan. And media just uh, being ignorant about it. They don't want to face the reality. It's very harsh for them. But it is the reality. Actually. They'll know the answer. And when they call me something, I, I, it doesn't affect me. But uh, I think they shouldn't call me anything. They shouldn't relate me to anybody because the history, the time period is different. The suffering, sick suffering is the same. But the time period is very different. So uh, I think it's not kind of good to compare me with anybody not because like you know i am afraid of being compared to sandeep pandore because he is a higher authority and he has such a uh, huge advantage of being a very religious person uh, from the childhood and i don't i don't like you know enjoy those kind of uh, advantages uh, being taught in taksal or something like that no what happened in najnala was eight second you know violence and media is playing it in the loop these things happen in like you know Every day in India, in UP, Bihar, every day actually, uh, people got, get burned alive, uh, the policemen get attacked brutally. And uh, when you say because of Ajnala, the Punjab is not a peaceful state anymore, it's also stereotyping Punjab. A, a single event where, you know, it's a eight second uh, of violence and you're playing in the loop. I think that's how the Ramanda radio system works. That their duty to conduct or like you know, make a committee and we'll see what they will give you know committee will come with the results some sort of mandate and we will see that if they call us there i will go there we will not like you know out of reach of a call we will obey their decision but the problem is a call didn't put committee just for regional incident so all over like you know guru Granth Sahib ji presence in uh, what we call in on, in protests and there is a Sikh regiment who carries Guru Granth Sahib Ji's troops wherever they go. There are many issues they are trying to get, you know, kind of look into. It's not about like, you know, taking any actions against anybody. It's all about making sure that nothing wrongs happen. So uh, I respect if they make uh, made a committee and I, res I will respect their decisions. Mm -hmm. We are at the Ajnala police station in Amritsar. This is where on February 24th, the hundreds of supporters of Amritpal Singh stormed this police station, trying to get one of their aides released from police custody. Hundreds of people came in here. First, they had promised a peaceful protest, but then there were hundreds of people led by Amritpal Singh which stormed this police station, created damage here. Uh, injured policemen, five policemen were injured, including an SP level officer and later, the DGP of Punjab, Gaurav Yadav, said that it was a cowardly attack using the Guru Granth Sahib as a shield and they brought the Guru Granth Sahib, the holy book of the Sikhs, here along when they had come. So the police did not open any fire and police did not use any force even after barricades were broken. Five policemen were injured, but even 16 days after that incident, no FIR has been registered against Amritpal Singh or his supporters regarding that attack. Why has the Punjab police not acted against him is a million dollar question in Punjab. When hundreds of people, armed people, attack a police station and no FIR registered, is the police act a bit scared of acting against Amrit Pal Singh or they don't want to make him a martyr by acting against him and arresting him? At the Ajnala police station, there are no clear answers and policemen here say, though they are some of their subordinates and some of their colleagues were injured, no action has been taken against Amrit Pal Singh so far. <laughs>